Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. Today we welcome Mrs. Jenny Fries, who is the lay leader of St. Andrews by the Sea. Good morning, St. Andrews. Here we are, the month of September. Time has flown by and summer is officially over. Strange how that is, isn't it? Normally, summertime is very busy for me, but of course, not so much this summer. One of the things that I've enjoyed doing over the past few summers is organize our Sunday suppers for the church. Starting in June, our St. Andrew's family would gather outside on our lovely patio, enjoy food and fellowship and a fabulous view of the Pacific Ocean. Mind you, I would not be pulling off such an event all alone. My family was the setup crew, along with Armando and Luis. And then each month I would have wonderful volunteers to help with all of the food. We would do it again in July and August and September. It was good. Casually getting together as Methodists do and food is always involved. <laughs> Well, like I said, it is September and this month's gathering would have been our annual Back to Church Sunday. That's when we welcome our members back after all their summer fun. It's a bigger shindig than the other dinners in that we have a bounce house for the kids, games to play on the lawn, and it's also coupled with our ministry fair. Once a year, all of our committees that would be trustees, finance, SPRC, and others, they put on a display of the things that they have done over the past year. It's a good way to keep St. Andrew's members aware of what the church is doing, both inside and outside its walls. We do a lot of wonderful works, and it's smart to keep everyone up to date. But doing what we normally do isn't flying right now. <laughs> Going online and Zooming is how we've been handling worship, committee meetings, and small groups. But you can't share a dinner with your church family that way. Dang it. There is good news up ahead, though. Orange County has been seeing a continuous downward trend in COVID cases. Things are beginning to open back up slowly and in a methodical manner, and that includes worship. St. Andrew's Reopening Task Force is hard at work getting plans ready and procedures in place for a safe reopening because that is what we want the most, a safe reopening. So stay tuned for upcoming news delivered through Sunday morning worship announcements or via our electronic newsletter, The View. Yes, good news is on the way. We will see one another again soon and be able to enjoy the word of God together. Have faith and always trust in the Lord. He will bring us back together again. And maybe, just maybe, I might be able to throw a fall Sunday supper out on our lawn, picnic style. I would love that. Will you please pray with me? Dear Lord, we give you gracious thanks for helping St. Andrews to continue worshiping through this pandemic time. While things have been turned upside down over the past six months, your faithful servants here have still been able to hear the word of God through other inventive ways. We have never stopped worshiping, and that's a good thing to remember and be thankful for. Please help us as we now move forward with the ever-changing times. While we are excited to be reuniting our church family in the near future, we pray that you will help us do so in a safe manner. We are your loving people. Amen. <music> 